This one's a tough one. This is a 2013 fuel injected 50cc Honda Metropolitan. It's got another name uh, overseas, but real popular bike. I'd be on the lookout for these. What, uh, the guy paid 200 bucks for this with a title. I mean, all clean. And the problem was when you'd crank it, it wouldn't run. It would just spin. The starter engaged. It would not connect anything. And if it did connect something, it would almost immediately get in a bind to stall the starter out. Something else it was doing was the Kickstarter was not free. It would get into a bind almost immediately. So the first thing I did was pull this CVT cover off. And I noticed that the starter gear was wobbling and a piece was missing in there. So someone has tried to do maintenance, put a new belt in here or something. Another bolt's broken up here too. So there's evidence of some tomfoolery. Good way, it's tough. The right way to fix this would be to get a new crankshaft. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I'm talking about. But for 200 bucks, we could probably get this thing on the road, put a new belt in it, and maybe get another 200, or 2,000 miles before it ever needs work again. So let's do this on a budget. So in order to save this, the crankshaft's what stripped the splines on this piece. And this is what was missing, the starter catch gear. We're going to pull all this off the fan, leave the starter gear in place, and hey, as the splines have been chewed off from the crankshaft, and the teeth are kind of mangled in the starter gear. What we end up doing is welding this on here. We took a castle nut and cut one of the teeth out. That'll give us room to get welding filler in. But we've got to squeeze this thing in flush because the belt wants to pull it back. Then make sure this doesn't wiggle. You never want to get everything too hot with this rubber here. So uh, we're going to let that completely cool. Well, it turns out that tech weld was pretty good. It's not wiggling. So I just put the nut on to protect the threads from splatter. I'm going uh, 180 degrees. Here's the final result. We just got four tech welds around there. We, know, we need the fan. And we can run the nut on there. This piece goes on next. We can give it a shot. Let's just try that. Washer. This bushing in here has come out two or three times while I was fooling around with this thing. Just make sure that's there. That catches the starter shaft and the gasket. Push it down all the way around. Make sure it's in its place. Then when you get it, I'm gonna run the bolts in here and see if the starter works. Kickstarter. All right. We're done. Take it for a test drive. Hope that helps. Thanks for watching.